Go on, please. She has more Grand Slam titles than Serena Williams and more gold medals than British cyclist Chris Hoy. And she dominated the world of wheelchair tennis for well over a decade. These are the astonishing numbers behind the irresistible force that was Esther Verheer. Her tennis story begins in the early 1990s. Verheer lost the use of her legs age eight after surgery to repair blood vessels around her spine. Within five years, she had turned pro on the wheelchair tennis circuit. She also excelled as a wheelchair basketball player and at 16 was part of the Dutch team that won the 1997 European Championship. But tennis was clearly her calling. She first hit the world number one spot in April 1999, reclaimed it in October 2000 and stayed there for the rest of her career. Verheer's numbers are truly astonishing. Five times an Australian Open singles champion, six consecutive French Open singles titles, a further six US Open singles triumphs. Her Grand Slam doubles record is even better. Eight each in Melbourne, Paris and New York, and three at Wimbledon. A total of 44 Grand Slam titles. Only Margaret Court and Martina Navratilova can boast more. Verheer won the Wheelchair Masters singles title every single year between 1998 and 2011, an unbeaten record stretching over 13 years. And she won the doubles in nine of those years. To the Netherlands, she is also worth her weight in Paralympic gold, winning the singles titles at Sydney 2000, Athens 2004, Beijing 2008 and London 2012, while claiming doubles gold in Sydney, Athens and London. But perhaps the most breathtaking of all her numbers is 470, the number of consecutive singles matches she won between January 2003 and that Paralympic victory in London. At one point, she went 26 months without dropping a set, and by the end of her career, had won 95 matches, six love, six love. A greater number still is the 668 weeks she spent at number one. At her peak, she was being described as the world's most dominant athlete. But her achievements were going unnoticed by a world that at the time gave little thought to parasport. An athlete with her record, particularly an able-bodied male tennis player, would have been a multi-millionaire many times over, with noughts being added to every sponsorship deal. However, in a 2007 interview, Verheer said, Winning a tournament earned me between $1,000 and $1,500, so I really need sponsorship money. I still live with my parents at the moment, so I managed to make ends meet. Next year, however, I'm moving out, and I'm not sure how much money that will leave me with. The world's most dominant athlete, unable to afford to move out because she wins just $1,500 for each tournament. Another astonishing figure. In 2013, she gave up for good. Rafael Nadal called her amazing for her will and ability. Maria Sharapova said Verheer showed true love and passion and former Wimbledon champ Richard Krajicek called her maybe the most successful athlete of all time. The best tribute to her ability though arguably came from Verheer herself when she told the New York Times in 2010, inner motivation is the best thing you can have because nobody can touch that. I'm the only one who decides what my drive is, what the limit is and what the ceiling is. For Verheer, the only ceiling was Parasport's low profile on court, she had no limit and no equal.